Hey, what's going on? It's Jason with another video showing you the FM radio project that I've been working on. This is phase one so far. And this pretty much replaces a bunch of traditional equipment you would have at a radio station. So first of all, I'll show you the Rivendale radio automation. Specifically, this is RD Airplay. This is what's responsible for playing all the music on air, all the programs and features. Has a built-in music generator, voice tracking. It runs on Linux, it's open source, and it's free. So you don't have to worry about buying expensive automation software. So you can essentially run multiple stations from one database if you want. I'll include a link if you want to check out the Rivendell radio automation software. What's cool about this is it, I'm running it on older hardware. In fact, all this equipment here is older hardware. Linux itself is very light on resources, and Rivendale doesn't use a whole lot. I took this old DVR and converted it into an AirPlay computer. This is from around 2005, 2006-ish. And the only thing I did, a couple things, put an SSD in it, and I removed the capture cards that were in it. And later I can put an actual full-sized audio card in it. Right now I'm using the onboard audio. It has an Asus motherboard in it, so the audio is actually not that bad. I'm using the sub output as the program feed and the line out to be able to preview audio that's hooked up to the headphones. So you can import audio, set your intros, uh, listen to everything before it airs. And that's the DVR unit. Now over here, I have an old Dell Xeon 8 core server. And this serves as the brain of the station. So Rivendale is the heart. This is the brain. With this Rivendale system, the audio comes out, goes into this breakout box, into one of the inputs. And this server has a couple of functions. It's an audio processor, a logger, and a streamer. So it takes the audio and it processes it. So it makes it louder. You can EQ it. A lot of stations like to play this loudness war with each other and make it sound as loud as possible on the dial. So this allows you to do that. It logs the station. So I have this tuner right here. This FM tuner is tuned to the frequency that I'm broadcasting on. It is fed into the breakout box and another input. And the computer logs the audio and archives it. So you can play back whenever you want, whatever went to air. The audio is split, it goes to a stream, and then that goes to the internet. And it also serves as a backup of the Rivendell database and audio store. From there the audio will then leave the breakout box and then it's fed into this transmitter running at 7 watts. The signal goes about a couple of kilometers. Part of phase two is putting an external antenna up to increase the signal. That is a tunable antenna. And then down here in this cabinet is the network lab. So I have an old Dell R710. It has VMware running on it. It's a few years old itself, about 10 years old. Have a bunch of virtual machines on it. And it itself will host the online stream for the radio station. So all of this is done in-house. All of this replaces traditional equipment. You can use the computer itself, the software that runs the audio processor can also send the audio out through composite signal directly into the transmitter or more specifically the exciter and that will provide the audio, the stereo generator and the RDS encoder all from one wire coming out from the computer into the actual transmitter and then right to air. So no longer do you really need a whole room full of equipment whether this is 7 watts or even 70,000 watts 
its function is pretty much the same. And without having to pay a huge amount of money for radio automation, you could have a whole production system set up. You don't have to worry about that. It's Linux, it's free, it's open source, it's pretty awesome. Part of phase two is also building a studio in this area. Got part of the wall up, been working on that. And my question to you is if you'd like me to continue doing these videos on radio, just let me know in the comment section. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Macintech. That way you'll know when the next video is available. I'm Jason. Thanks so much for watching. Chat at you later. Take a, take a, take a, take a